After months of early rising, tedious studies and daily exercises, every child would love to have not just any kind of holiday, but a holiday with a difference. A time to be in the company of friends. A time to learn something new. Since the mid-19th century, the Salesians of Don Bosco all over the world have been involved in the animation of holiday camps for children and youth. This time around, the children and youth of Holy Cross Catholic Church, Guarimpa II, Abuja, in the capital of Nigeria, were privileged for the first time ever to participate in a Don Bosco holiday camp. Prior to the camp, which began on the 7th of August, the young people who had volunteered to be trained as Silesian animators were involved in a week-long intense training and preparation for the camp. On Tuesday, 7th of August, while registration was still in progress, the camp began with about 350 campees and quickly rose up to a large number of 600 within the first week. Every day of the camp begins with the time of prayer of the animators. This time the animators prepare themselves spiritually as well as entrust the activities of the day to God. The children are welcomed every day at the assembly. They line up according to their classes and group of interests. In order to ensure their full participation in the camp, they are reminded of the upcoming events of the day. I'm an animator here at the camp. I'm here helping the, the children with their activities. Um, the area I study in, in the UK, is engi aeronautical engineering. And I've come down for the summer to help out and take part in this great event. Our aim here is to win. So David must win, you know. So that is my aim here. And in the morning, my aim is to, you know, help in encouraging the children in mass, sometimes CRS, you know. This holiday is for them to come and learn some things. Instead of sitting at home and watching movies, playing around, you know, when they come together, they meet new friends, they learn, they associate. Since the camp is aimed at discovering and developing the talent imbibed in every child, the first three hours of the day is set aside for group of interests. My name is Faustina Oba and I'm here to tell you what we have learned today. Today we learned mathematics, English and CRS. In CRS we learned about Moses and John. Moses was the person who Moses was the prophet who God told to rescue Israelite from Egypt. In mathematics we learned about nouns. No, in mathematics we learned about shapes, addition and subtraction. In English we learned about nouns, present tense and past tense. My name is S.A. Saboje. I learned it is not good to be stubborn and not to be selfish. They taught me mathematics. This morning they taught me mathematics and we did tests. And we did tests on CRK. Okay, how do they tell you to behave in the camp? How do teachers teach you to behave in the camp? That we should not use foul language, that we should keep quiet in the class. Those who showed interest in medical line had been put together in a group called Future Doctors and Nurses. Here, there are experts who give them basic tips about human health, first aids and so on. I'm a member of the Doctors and Nurses. I'm a teacher, I coach. In coaching, I, I teach on you know, medical sciences and all that. And um, to, say, to say the least, the children have, have been really, really good. They've been attentive and the program has been going on. It's been, it's been quite fine. Like take for instance, we, we started uh, a week ago and uh, we've been teaching them things like first aid, um, personal hygiene, diseases and environmental hazards and, 
and so many other things that that weren't even in the curriculum to show how much we've progressed. So um, I, I would like to say that it's, it's been a real success. My name is Juan Naremijus. I'm going to lecture you on HIV AIDS. The HIV fully means human immune immune def, immune virus. Why the AIDS? Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. The HIV is a virus which lives in the human blood. It destroys the red blood cells responsible for fighting germs. After a long time, the HIV changes to AIDS, which destroys to the body totally and kills the patients. Personal hygiene is the care, the care an individual undertakes to keep his body clean and fit to prevent he or she from diseases. We have ways of maintaining personal hygiene by bathing daily, brushing twice a day, washing our clothes, and so on. Our young engineers are grouped together in a group called Future Engineers. They learn basic tips on engineering, constructions, and so on. Right now I'm in the camp, uh, Don Bosco holiday camp. Uh, I find myself uh, with the children in the camp. I'm taking them in the group of interest, money group of interest. I'm taking them on engineering. Uh, so far we have gone very well in bringing them up in, in such a way they can face the public in the engineering course. Try letting them know the meaning of engineering, the type of engineering we're having, and um, the categories of engineering, how the responsibilities they have to fix. Yes. My name is Eno Moses Dennis. I'm in engineering class. I'm in Don Bosco camp. I've learned a lot from this engineering class. Like for me, I learned that engineering is the scientific knowledge of building, designing bridges, machines, production of chemicals and so that. I also learned some types of engineering hub, chemical engineering, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, social engineering. I also learned that in a building there are types of there are two types of electrical hub, electrical electronics and electrical power. And also learned that in the building we have two ways of wiring a bit of the conduit wiring and also the surface wiring. I also learned that Carl Benz was a mechanical engineer and was the first person to invent the first mechanical car in 1885. And 1900, Mercedes Benz, which he named after his boss's daughter, was the fastest car in the world. My name is Eli Minheli Augusta. I'm from engineering department. What I learned so far, I learned I learned um, the meaning and types of engineering. I also learned um, how to make an, a bulb light. And I also learned how to make um, a rosary and the first part of the rosary and the person who made um, the first car in the world who, and his name is Carl Benz who named it after his boss's daughter, Mercedes. <laughs> Those who are interested in mass communication, drama, singing, computer, choreography, and so on, form the group called the Communication Group. More than newscasting, dancing, and singing, they also help to boost their self esteem. In the afternoon, the camp takes a community dimension. The campees are distributed into four groups with the names David, Samuel, Saul, and Jonathan. Following the story of the day, 
of David and Goliath in the Bible. The story of the day is shown to them bit by bit on a large screen during the time that is called the whole moment. Every day at midday, the campees sit in the church according to their groups and prepare for the Holy Mass. There, they are nourished with the Word of God and the Eucharist. You see, most of these children, like you would know, just lazy away at home during vacations like this. And uh, are either glued to the television sets, watching different sorts of cartoons and um, home videos that are also not particularly spiritually beneficial to them. And so when you have a program like this, the main focus is for their spiritual growth. But it has been designed in such a way that they are made to uh, learn the doctrine, learn to uh, live their faith by integrating programs that uh, provide fun for them, which is what makes the difference. Because here they are coming, they have mass every um, day at midday. They also have some sort of religious knowledge and everything that they are doing, all their activities, we try as much as possible to make sure that they are within the tenets of our faith. Right after the Holy Mass, every campee and animator he served his or her lunch package, usually done with a lot of enthusiasm as they would love to have enough energy to sustain them during the free games and the big games and the super games. For the food preparation, some mothers of the campees and volunteers who were professional caterers also made themselves available to prepare decent quality meals for the children every day. Soon after lunch, the free game begins. Every child has a chance to choose a choice of free game and participate. These chance games give the children opportunity to win some Don Bosco dollars. These dollars are specially designed in the camp to make the children acquire personal points. There is a bank in the camp that is animated by some of the volunteers in such a way that every child who wins goes to the bank and deposits his money in this account. At the end of the camp, all of these monies will be calculated as points and we add up as the final score for the child and his group or her group. Unlike the free games, the B game and super games are played in groups. It's an opportunity for the children to learn, to work as a team. They play together, they win together, and sometimes they also learn how to accept defeat together. But they love these games. I don't do the card games, so they always, it's a long queue on my game, so I think they respond faster in the games. The peak of the day comes when the campees are all seated in the hall, patiently waiting the declaration of the winning group for the day. Sometimes the throwing of the die or some so-called lucky lucky games can turn things around. The first becomes the last and sometimes the last becomes the first. And 25 points. And that is the group of Samuel! The daily activities is brought to an end are the announcement of the results and a closing prayer. Usually, the winning group would love to have a moment of rejoicing and celebration. Why the group assigned to clean the compound will not hesitate to start immediately as a hundred points awaits them if they have the job well done. The more we are able to reach out to the children, they see what is being done for them. They see that there are a group of people, animators, who volunteer to work for them means these people are making a kind of sacrifice. It also challenges these children when they grow up to take this kind of step and to be able to have this kind of habit of uh, making a kind of sacrifice for others because some are doing this for them now. And not only that, even when it comes to the activities they do, like games, 
like some kind of disciplines you give to them like you say the first group to settle down and some things like this now it looks like a tactics but when you see when they go into the world when they begin to grow they inculcate this uh, attitude gradually they learn how to be punctual they learn how to make things together in groups not to do things alone and many things like this they will learn in the course of this and in fact if every child uh, has the opportunity to attend a camp once in a year you will see the difference in the child i enjoy helping them because it gives me a sense of responsibility and um, i enjoy helping them make the most out of their summer bringing children up the right way so that the society won't or um, the next generation will be better and um, more God-fearing and responsible and they'll have um, valuable life skills. At the end of the day, the animators, just as they started in the morning, are gathered together again in a moment of prayer and evaluation. At this point, every animator is expected to evaluate his or her involvement in the various activities of the day and take time to reflect about his or her life and to make concrete plans for the days ahead. The parents come to pick their children one after the other, going home narrating to their parents their joys and their expectation, excitement and sometimes also sharing with them all the fantastic things they've seen in the camp. It is a program that is very interesting and if you look at the end side of it that the children are happy and all that then that calls for it to become a standard program that should be repeated, you know, year after year after year to engage our children. They are all enthusiastic about it. I can assure you right now, most of the children now begin to look forward to the next camping experience, you know, and that means that this should be done again and again to help them. Thank you.